I'm back. My dad explained why I can't have anesthesia. See, it turns out that when I got these tattoos, the artist put me under. Except he couldn't revive me. So he dumped me off at the gated entrance to my mother's estate like I was unwanted garbage. Sure wish I could remember who he was. Because I'd like to make his life a living hell. Fortunately, Dad came home early for once, and he found me in an unconscious pile. He didn't realize that this black-faced ghoul was his daughter. He thought it was some druggie trying to break in and steal something. But he still called 911. It was only then that he noticed that this druggie had his daughter's shoes and bracelet. While checking the bracelet, he saw the scars on Casey's my wrists from prior suicide attempts. And that's when he knew it was old Casey. The doctor said if I had arrived at the hospital ten minutes later, I would have been dead. I keep trying to build up a wall between my dad and me, knowing if he betrayed Casey, he'll do the same to me. But I like him. I've tried not to, but it's hard when he's so proud of how I'm turning my life around. He's letting me draw a line between old Casey and new me, and maybe I should let him draw a line in the sand too. I need to think about that.